more about this now. Sean Gilligan is here. He's the founder and managing director of an online learning business. And we are joined from his own back garden in London, Blue Peter's resident gardener, Chris Collins. Um, very good morning to you. Um, Chris, is this something that should actually be taught in schools as part of a curriculum? I mean, it's, an, it's, a, it's a lovely idea, but do you think it's practical? Well, I think it is. I mean, many schools, I've watched the whole subject grow over many years. And I think it's very important for them to do it, because if you think about it, there's, there's so many life skills involved in it. For instance, you've got some maths if you measure, you've got some art if you do a little design. You've also got all the sciences. I think importantly also is you've got physical exercise and also it teaches them teamwork, which you could argue is one of the most important skills you can have. Mm. Mm. Sean, you're not convinced necessarily that we should be teaching people how to grow carrots in, the, in their school? Um, being an entrepreneur and organically growing my business, Web Anywhere, from the age of 25 now to 140 uh, staff, I think there's some aspects of what these guys are doing that, that is great. What I'd like to see is gardening combined with entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial education. Well, so grow your carrots and then market them? Well, things like soft skills, emotional intelligence, communication, leadership, these sorts of skills are so important in business. And often at interview stage, kids don't really know what they're doing. And so if we can combine the, the, the soft skills, that's fantastic. Also, kids need to get out of the classroom and uh, their learning environment affects their engagement. And engagement in education is so, so important to have that energy and, and that passion for the kids learning. Chris, well, um, I can imagine that some schools think, well, there's so many things competing to be taught by teachers that, that although you're learning lots of things through gardening, perhaps it is something that should be done I don't know, as an after-school club um, or something that's done at home rather than taking up time that should be used for numeracy and literacy, for instance? Well, I'm sure people will argue that, and that's a, you know, it's a fair enough point of view, I reckon. But I think that intellect comes in different guises. So a kid that sits in a classroom and learns maths might be good at that academically, but another kid might not be. And I think what gardening tends to do is it brings out those, that different type of learning. So it's practical application for learning, and some kids really benefit from that. So you need to spread, you need to give mm. options, basically. Mm. I mean, John, we're living in an age now where you, some children don't even know where milk comes from. So they need to get their fingers dirty, so to speak, to understand the connection between, the fundamental connection between us and the soil and where we get our food from. Yes, and I think combining these gardening businesses so that kids have to rent a patch of soil, they've got to pay for seeds, and then they've got to produce products and, and, and turn a profit, uh, and then combining and integrating the curriculum, the maths, the science. As soon as you, <coughs> as soon as you introduce the, the idea of the commerce into, into the equation, you're just, in a sense, you're just destroying the fundamental freedom of the idea in the first place, aren't it, you? It's employability. Employability is so important, Bill. Even and in primary school? It, it absolutely. The entrepreneurial mindset is absolutely critical. We've got to go away from the 9 to 5 entitlement attitude in this country to the entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. If uh, people can create 140 jobs like I have done, self-funded and organically grown, a little bit like this garden, then um, this country will be out of recession Chris, and the green shoots will be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chris, presumably you just love the idea of, of the kids, you know, burying their hands in the soil and and producing something extraordinary, you know, and, that, and the way that makes them feel. Well, I, you know, I'm in schools all the time, and, uh, and in nine years of doing it, and this is a powerful statement, but it's a true one, I've never had a kid who's not enjoyed it, and mm. I think that we're all gardeners at heart, and if you think about it, how did we eat for the like, thousands and thousands of years? We ate because we farmed and we gardened, and I, so that way I think you've got to see it as an essential skill, but ultimately, ultimately, it's just really good fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Chris, thanks very much indeed. Chris Collins, Sean Gilligan, thanks Sean, very much. Sean, apart from growing your own business organically, as you told us, <laughs> when was the last time you grew something in the garden? Um, my father-in-law did that at the weekend. I'm not an avid gardener, but, um, yeah. You need to get out there. Maybe I need him. to get some practice in. Yeah. All right, Sean, Thank thanks you, Bill. Thank you.